Hello and welcome to Living Word, growing a family that experiences every promise of God. For more information, visit our website at livingwordonline.com. Hallelujah, Father. We thank you, Father God. 1 John 5, 4 says, Whatever is born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory we have. It says, And this is the victory that has overcome the world, our faith. Say, my faith. My faith. Up in verse 1, it says, Whoever believes that Jesus is Christ is born of God. That's you and you and you and you, 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 myself. That's our pastor. We are the born of God. And this says we overcome the world. Hallelujah, our world. You know, the enemy perpetuates hurt and torment and pain the enemy satan he wants to perpetuate division and discord and our world in my lifetime now more than ever needs to see the supernatural power of our god our world now more than ever needs to see god's supernatural power for wisdom over our thought life and our ability to lead our day with right thoughts, meditating on what we should be meditating on, what's good, what's holy, what's overcoming. Our world right now more than ever needs to see God's supernatural power of the self-control over our mouth, our confession. What are we speaking? What are we putting on social media? What are we saying in the interactions with one another, both those we agree and disagree with? We need to watch what our mouth is saying, and we have the power for self-control over it. Our world more than ever now needs to see God's supernatural power of peace over our emotions, that what I carry on the inside of me obliterates fear. I have the power on the inside of me to walk full of joy and contentment and peace and know that my God's got it covered and that he's in control. The world more than ever now needs to see God's supernatural power of ex extravagant love on the inside of us that comes out in our interactions, our choices, and our decisions with one another. Again, whether we agree or disagree, we have the greatest tool ever, and that is prayer. Your God, the universe, the God, the creator of the universe, the creator of you, and your neighbor wants to know you intimately. And I want to say this, church, if you don't walk in awe that your creator wants to personally know you, you're not spending nearly enough time with him. I walk every day in awe that the one who created me and my neighbor and my kids wants and desires and longs to hear my praise wants and longs to talk with me and hear what's going on in my world, my fears, my excitement, my praise. He wants to hear me say, I know he's got it covered. He wants to hear me say, I trust his word and I'm active on his word. Hallelujah. He wants a relationship with you. He wants you on your knees. He wants you in the car. He wants you when you're putting on your makeup to have that conversation with him and build that relationship with him. So you hear him when he speaks into your life. As a church body, I want to ask right now that we lift our hands up and we pray for our nation and the nations around us. I ask right now that we would pray for the leaders of the world from the very top of government to the people on the front line, can we just pray right now for the situations that are going on in our world right now? Father God, we thank you and we praise you and we declare your supernatural power and your might over every single petition we would hand you right now in the name of Jesus. We thank you and we praise you that wisdom and love and consideration and compassion is on the minds of our leadership and that those that are hurting in our world know that they are prayed for and that they're considered and that they are seen in the name of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus over every single situation right now. And we see strongholds broken in the name of Jesus. 